Hello, Daniel John here and welcome to another one of our uh, product review videos. Uh, and this video is a little bit different because we've already unboxed the item. But we're looking at the Panasonic Convection Grill and Microwave Oven. And as you can see the model is NN-CT54JW. Uh, it's the white one and the features are of it is 100 to 220 Celsius convection, a 1300 watt grill, a 1000 watt microwave, has an auto program, a child lock built in and it's the 27 litre size, turnable platter at the bottom, goes round, uh, quick 30, add time, so if you've got something in there existing you can add more time to if it's not quite done, and a junior menu. Um, comes in this box from Amazon. Uh, very well packaged. Very well packaged. It says on the side here, it's got a grill at the top, which you'd expect, microwave at the side, and this is how it would cook it. Grill comes straight down, as you know, in microwave it bounces all over the place. And it's even given as a 17 kg. And it says with this one here that this this newer one is equivalent, has a 20% space saving on the previous model by the looks of it. So I'm going to put the box on the floor. <coughs> I don't think we need it. And it did come very well boxed. So this is the unit here. It's quite a large unit, which you'd expect for so many features to be built into it. It's currently on at the moment. So we bought this, really, because at the moment we have a gas oven and bending down. We don't want to fit it in the wall. It's just an easier solution. It's electric is an option. Sometimes we don't want to have the oven on, do we? Yeah, we don't want to warm it up. We just want to cook something so quick. This does everything. You can have a normal convection oven. It's <coughs> got grill. Um, it's got mic micro power as a microwave, defrost, it's even got a clock on it. You can use the microwave and convection oven together, so it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so, I'm just going to undo it for a minute. What do you get with it? Ignore the piece of toast for a minute. You get one of these. You get one of them. Not with the uh, crumbs on it. So no. we've just been testing this just to make sure the unit works after getting nice, it. Nice good quality enamel tray. Um, they're obviously silicon feet so they don't melt. Even that's a good quality cooling tray. Raises it. That's primarily for the grill to put your stuff on for the grill. Gets a huge glass tray for microwave oven use only. And it gets the thing that it sits on. That just sits in the middle. So obviously when you're cooking things that thing is spinning around and cooking it um, evenly which is important. So the advantage with this is over an oven is you could cook a pizza in it for example yeah. and you'd have it cooked 360 instead of on one side because sometimes with pizzas and things like that is they, they cook one side don't they? So uh, I've just done this piece of toast yeah. and that's a demonstration of it. When you put the grill on in here it rotates and it moves it round and goes it back. So it cooks it evenly, doesn't oh, it? Evenly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. look at that. That's the best piece of toast. So that, that ever toast seen. has been cut, and as you can see, it's browned all, all the way around. Um, inside. Let's have a look inside. So this is. Okay. It is stain, brushed stainless steel. Well, it's brushed stainless steel on the case, and it's smooth stainless steel inside, which is quite nice. So it's a very nice finish, which you'd expect for this sort of. Uh, Appliance. If you're looking at the top there, that's the grill. Up okay. there, short of that. It's up there at the back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And the microwave is obviously on the right hand side with a little compartment to change the bulb if you need to. It's not noisy. Um, so if you're microwaving, you just pop your dishes on here. If you want to grill stuff, you put this in. And then you put your wire tray in. I mean, so, that all, so that all fits in there real nice. So, yeah. Do you want to show a bit of bread bin? Microwave or not? You can do if you want. Yeah. Obviously, you do normally use a bit a toaster to toast bread, but oh, it depends if you've got one or not. But this will do um, several appliances all in one. That's sort of the it's advantage so of it. So you get your piece of bread, and that should you could get two or three on there. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Close your door, choose grill. This this is how easy it is, so depending on what you do, you just choose it. So times there, and I'm gonna give it, just to demonstrate this, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, and press start. Now if, if the cameraman can get under there, 
you'll see at the back, I don't know if I can show it, it is, as you can see, it is spinning round. You can see the heat coming on. Can you see that at the back? Not be able to. I don't know, it's maybe. Coming on now, you'll see it in a minute. If I turn the lights off it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Look, you can see the grill at the back. Yeah. So that's basically spinning underneath it and uh, that's why you get cooking so it. So things like cakes and your roasted meat in there. You can literally do anything you want in here. Um, I'm just going to stop that. So hasn't done an awful lot at the moment. And it, it needs more. It needs more time, basically. I've noticed that when you're um, when you add the grill on, it takes a few minutes to cool down. So at the back of the microwave, there's almost, there's like a, a, a raised bit here, and uh, the, a lot of hot air comes out of that. So wherever you put this, you need plenty of space for the hot air to be sucked out and pushed out. That's an important thing to note. I'd say even the thing about the toast for kids, they can eat the whole toast because it's not got burnt edges. So it's quite nice. Should we show? That compared to like a really cheap microwave, like a real, real cheap one that we bought, just to show the size difference. So this microwave here is a Tesco's microwave, and obviously it's the cheapest thing you can buy. It's been perfectly reliable, but we're just showing you real life size difference, so you get an idea of whether you've got enough room or, or things for it. So that's a normal microwave, just a basic 700 watt one. And that's the Panasonic. As you can see, there is a bit of a size difference. The reason we've got this at an angle is it's quite wide, long, but it'd have to be to be like an oven. So just bear that in mind when you're um, thinking of buying one of these. But uh, I've seen some reviews elsewhere about this. And people say if that's one thing they could take to a desert island and take this with them. Um, and I'd say one thing about it, simplicity of use. Uh, build quality is really good and it it does do what it says oops on the tin it so, does it does it does grill stuff nicely and I can see it cooking pizzas and things yeah. real nice so if your kids are a bit fussy or other people are fussy about food at least you're going to get the perfect finish you can do like say roast joints and it meat the only thing you're going to have to buy um, are your own larger trays for the microwave convection oven it does talk about Pyrex so you get some Pyrex dishes, probably the width of that. And if you can get round ones, you get the round ones. Right, so we're going to wrap this video up. Um, we hope this helps you in your decision whether to buy one of these. I know it's not a, a full review, but it's it's just a quick review. So if you are thinking about buying one of these, um, hopefully our video has been helpful to you. Thanks very much.